I told y'all this before. I say peace and benedictions. But of course, you need clarity from clear people. You know what I'm saying? You need that white verification, aka clarity. You know what I mean? So a lot of y'all is narcissists. You know what I'm saying? And I told you that you low-key de facto Satanists. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, so I'm gonna let this video play and give you the white verification you so desperately need, right? Because I already told you this shit before. But a lot of y'all motherfuckers is fucking with Satanists. You know what I'm saying? And you oh you are this you a Satanist and you don't even fucking know it. This video is based on the work of Mark Passio from whatonearthishappening.com. Specifically, his recent video on de facto Satanism. Today's Hollywood pop culture machine will have you believe that Satanists wear robes and practice ritualistic blood sacrifices while worshiping Satan. And while there may be some truth to this, it is mostly propaganda meant to conceal the reality of what Satanism actually is. True Satanism is a mindset, and the Satan that is worshipped is within each and every one of us. It is most commonly known as our ego. The self is the true god of Satanism. The term Satanism is used to deceive religious people, to appear harmless to non-religious people, and also because it stems from the Hebrew word Shatan, which means adversary. Satan is the force of involution that opposes true spiritual evolution. It is the ego within us. Left to our own devices, the ego will try and convince us to think only of ourselves, which is exactly what Satanism is. And so a de facto Satanist is a person who holds this mindset, but does not consider themselves to be a Satanist. Organized Satanism stands against this sort of enlightenment. They believe human psychology and the laws of nature should be kept occulted or hidden from the public and used to gain and retain power over the masses by keeping them ignorant as to how the mind and emotions work while using this knowledge to manipulate the masses and ultimately enslave them. This is primarily done by cultivating the Satanist mindset among the masses, thereby turning the ignorant and unaware into a de facto Satanist. As we think, so we become. This mindset can be broken down into four main tenets of Satanism. The first and most important is selfishness, egotism, or what many know as narcissism. Self-preservation is the highest law. Live only for your own selfish desires and only care about you and yours. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and if you must step on others to get what you want, then so be it. This is the basis of satanic thinking. The second tenet of the Satanist mindset is moral relativism. This is the belief that there is no objective difference between right behavior and wrong behavior. It is the belief that nobody is ever objectively right or wrong, and that it's up to each individual person to decide for themselves what is right and what is wrong. The third tenet of Satanism is social Darwinism. This is the belief that it is natural and good for human society to be ruled by the most aggressive and dominant humans among us, and that it is by virtue of their genetics that these vicious humans deserve to be in positions of power and lead humanity as they so choose. The fourth tenet of Satanism is eugenics or dysgenics. This is the ideal conclusion of the Satanist mindset. Since man is God and he gets to decide what is right and what is wrong, and since the natural order is for the most dominant genetics to have power, then the elite class ruling over us has every right to decide who is allowed to live and procreate and who must die. This is how all of society is conditioned to think. And this is how the high level Satanists are leading all of humanity into slavery. Most of humanity is operating under this de facto satanic mindset, which is why it is called the great work 
to change it. The great work is the work of awakening the masses to the true nature of the ego mind, encouraging each and every individual to find the courage to face their own inner shadow and to practice natural law. Natural law is the respect of others. Put simply, it is love. If the majority of humanity is practicing love, then humanity will know freedom. But if the majority of humanity is practicing Satanism, then humanity will be enslaved. So is the person you idolize a low-key de facto Satanist? Tiger, Think about it. Are you following a narcissist? Cry to those who had lost their faith. But in truth, I was deceived. The devil is a crafty sort. His manipulations, man. This is my house! I run a shit!